today's video, I have to package up some bath bombs, get them ready to go off. And I thought I'd show you guys my new technique on how I wrap my bath bomb. If that's something that you're interested in, stay tuned. For those of you that have followed us from the beginning, you know that I used to shrink wrap my bath bombs. I used to design and print my labels from Avery and have to cut them out individually. And we used double-sided tape to wrap a label around the bath bomb and then used biofilm bags to shrink wrap the bath bomb in to protect the bath bomb and that was not working for me anymore. We wanted to be on a journey to be 100% plastic free and some of you may not want to hear it but biofilm it's still plastic. So this was the perfect way for my company to get rid of all the biofilm we were using to shrink wrap our products. Instead, I found a more environmental way to protect my bath bombs from pre-fizzing and I'm going to share that with you guys today. My bath bombs are fairly large, they're about 7.25 ounces. So I found these boxes that were 3 by 3 inches from Amazon that would work perfectly for this project. I still have to design and print my labels and I do so with Avery and just place the stickers on the boxes. Now these boxes I do have to assemble by hand and the boxes are stuffed with crinkle paper just to add a little cushion to the bottom. The bath bombs are individually wrapped in this wax paper. Get the summertime vibes. I'm going to add a little bit of crinkle paper to protect them. And we tuck them away and voila, all done. This task can be tedious to some, but let me tell you, it is better than individually shrink wrapping the bath bombs. It took some trial and error to get the perfect recipe, but we have succeeded. For the full recipe, you can head to our Patreon page and it's the 2023 bath bomb recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Tears are